Good morning, everybody. I am Happy Ann because I am going to do a quick makeup tutorial for you. I'm going to try and keep this under like 20 minutes. Super easy look. A um, couple quick things. I this morning came on and did the first coffee chats with Chelsea. Make sure that you go and check that, like and share that video. Um, it's just a little bit of motivation to get you up and going in the morning and talk a little bit about the business. So if you have questions on it, refer to that video or you can shoot me a message. Um, if you see the red button up at the top of your screen, that means that you're watching this video live. Make sure that you hashtag live in the comments so that I know that you're here and I can say hi. If you don't see that, you're watching it on the replay, go ahead and hashtag replay so I can follow up with you and see what you thought of the video and if you had any questions. Um, as I said, today we're going to do a really quick, easy makeup look for like an everyday, like kind of chill at the house, maybe run an errand if you need to. Um, I'm going to start by using my Touch Glorious Hydrating Face Primer. On Wednesday, I am getting a ton of new products in the mail, and I am so excited. I can't wait to show you guys. We do have a new mattifying primer, which will basically, you put the primer on before you put on your foundation, but it will eliminate most of the flaws and give you that airbrush look because it's going to give you more of that matte finish. So that will be really exciting, and I will show you guys that as soon as I get it in the mail, which I should be getting everything on Wednesday. Um... Assuming it doesn't get stuck in the mail. Okay. Hi. Thanks for joining. Let me grab a couple brushes here. Um, okay. So I am going to use some brush cleaner to just clean off my brushes before I go in to use my colors. I did use this palette yesterday, and I used the blues in the palette. So I want to make sure my brushes are nice and clean because I'm going to do more of a neutral look today. So this is my brush. I'm going to take my brush cleaner, which is this little bottle right here. I'm going to spray the tip of my brush. And then I'm going to clean it off on a towel. Kingston, no thank you. No more. He's had one already. Okay, so that's completely cleaned off my brush then. This brush cleaner is currently on back order. I believe it will be back in stock as of June 8th. I will double check and make sure that I put that in the description just to let you guys know. Bone. Do not give him any more because he's already had plenty. Thank you. We had a lot more. Um, I will drop it in the description to let you guys know for sure when it will be available, but I'm pretty sure last I checked, which was yesterday, it said that it will be available come June 8th. Um, this palette that I'm using is still in stock, so if you want it, go and grab it now. I will put it in the description, but this palette is retiring, so once they sell out, we're not getting any more back. The exciting part of that is, is we will be getting some brand new palettes, which I can't wait for because a lot of our presenters have been working on the color palettes. Um, so it will have a little bit of each of us in the new palettes, which is what I'm really excited for. But again, if you like these colors that I've been using, um, which I think I posted all of the looks that I've done with this palette so far yesterday night for you guys to vote on and tell me which one was your favorite. Um, so if you want to see how versatile these palettes are, you have seven different colors to choose from, go ahead and check out that post. And it's going to show you the different variations and color mixtures that you can do. Today I'm going to use the colors Tender, Ar Arrogant, and Secretive. So we're only doing three colors today. Tender is the light goldish tan color right here. And you're going to put that right underneath your brow line, which speaking of which, I'm going to just fill in my brows a little bit. I don't know where my actual brush is, so I'm going to have to improvise with this brush. Um, I will be getting a new brow palette in, so I'll show you guys how to use that. Once I get it, which it should be coming on Wednesday, as I said earlier in the video, I am just filling in my brows a little bit because I'm not doing a full look today. All right, so now we can hop into the eyeshadow. Quiet, please. Okay, so we're going to start with the color Tender. That's going to go right underneath your brow line. 
And this is going to be the beginning of your transition colors. So you're going to start with a lighter color. You'll use a darker color in your crease. Um, I usually use some sort of a shimmery color on the corner of my eye, and then I will round it out with a fourth color. Um, I'm not doing that today. I'm only going to do the three colors. So the color I do in my crease line is what I'm going to round out the look on the outer corner of my eye with, just to blend everything together. So a lot of this is just layering. Almost everything you're doing on your face is just gonna be a layer. So your eyes are gonna be layering that to get that transition. Your um, cheekbones, your face, you're gonna be doing a contour with a bronzer or a darker foundation color. You'll be using a blusher and then you'll be using a highlight. So you're gonna get that Neapolitan look. Kingston, no thank you. I'm making a huge stack. Okay, but you're not making a good choice right now, so please stop. Thanks. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the crease color, which I'm going to use this arrogant color. Oh boy. Which is this one right here. <clears throat> so it's a lighter brown color than the color that I used the other day. The other day I used the brave color, which is more of like a chocolate. Like a chocolate nice. piece of copper chocolate. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that, Mom. I didn't interrupt, interrupt you. That's okay. Okay, so this, I am just going to use a swiping motion up and back. And if I need to, I can also use small circles. So I will be using smaller circles to blend in this color because I'll be using this in the outer corner of my eye today to blend my inner corner color because I'm not using a fourth color today. And mom, I'm sitting in my chair I made. So this is a really pretty brown color. And it's gonna look a little crazy right now because I don't have foundation on. I always put my foundation on after I've done oh. my eyes, just in case there's any fallout from my shadow or there's any cleanup I need to do. It's a lot easier for me to do that without the foundation on. I can take a makeup wipe and I can just wipe it off if I need to, um, or I can correct it when I put my foundation and my concealer on. So just in case you were wondering why I'm not doing that first, it's because this is just a little bit easier to do cleanup. So because I'm only using the three colors today, I am gonna pull this down a little bit on my um, eyelid, which I don't normally do, but I'm gonna pull it down because I'm gonna end up using that color to blend anyways. And I just wanna add a little bit of that color right here so that when I put on the shimmery color, I have something to blend it in with. I have a little pool party back here. Yeah? Yep. Okay. So once you get it on, you're gonna kind of do like a spot check between your two eyes. You wanna make sure that you have the same amount of color application on both eyes so that you don't have one that looks bolder than the other. Now, if you do, you can always blend it out. You'll notice a lot in a lot of my videos, I will continue to blend out through my whole application process. Even if I've completed my eyes, I usually will go back another 12 times. Um, to blend it because I can be really picky when it comes to my eye makeup. Um, so I will just keep blending it until I like the way that it looks overall. So what I did was is I just took that color that I put underneath my um, brow line, which ignore my brows because they desperately need to be done. So I'm going to have to try and tweeze them. <laughs> Thanks to, to quarantine. Um, okay, so I took the color tender and I just blended that top part in just to lighten that up a little bit because I don't want the um, crease line to go up too high. So that's what I was doing there. I'm so scared. I'm great. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the color secretive, which is this is what I'm going to do on my inner corner eye right here. This is the color secretive. It's like this shimmery copper color. So to get it to where it looks extra shimmery and more of that wet look, I will take, let me get my stunning spray. I will take a flat brush, which is this right here. I will put the product on my brush like that. And then I will take my setting spray and I will spray it. 
and it's gonna make it a little bit wet and then I'll apply it to my inner corner. So I'm just going up and back and swiping this on the inner corner of my eye. So you can already see where that nice shimmer is coming from. And it's a much lighter tone than what this brown color is, the arrogant color that I'm using. So the reason I do it that way is because I want the inner corner of my eye, I want it to be a lighter color so that it opens up my eyes. If I use dark colors all around, it's going to make my eyes look closed and small. And you don't want that. You still want to be able to see your eyes when you're doing um, darker makeup. Okay, don't rub those all over the floor though, because those are all my white pillows. I know. I'm just, I'm just making. Uh, I'm not making a huge mess. It's just a fence. Okay. When I, when you're done, and you don't, you, I can just, and when you work out, I can just keep like this and. Well, after four hours, just take all apart. Okay. That's, I'm just not making a huge mess. Or that'll be, then you're good. Then you're not going to clean it up, and you're just going to make clean up. Yeah. So I'm not going to make a huge mess. Well, uh, if you make a mess, you're responsible for cleaning it up. Just like if mom makes a mess, I got to clean it up. Yeah, but, and, and I, and do one. When you made a huge mess, I would say I can't clean up with you because this is only your mess. Right. So that's why I'm not going to make a mess. Okay. And we'll stop arguing. So, about this. <laughs> okay. Um, so I have put that on. So now I'm just, I just was spot checking to make sure that I haven't missed any spots. I have color covering the whole inner corner of my eye and I do, and I really actually like the way that it looks. I am going to take that arrogant color and I'm just going to blend it in a little bit more up here so you can see more of that definition in my crease. I just need this blinky for a second. Hey, Which blinky? Hi, brother, one of your blinkies. No, don't do that one. What? Use your use your Spider Man blinky. No, I, I'm going to pretend this was the one I'm going to sleep with. Mom? Okay. Can I just, can I just please buy one? Okay, so that blended really nice. So I'm just going to take it and blend a little like bit more on this outer corner here. As I said, usually I do one other color right here on the outer corner today because I'm, I'm not doing, um, I'm not going anywhere. I'm only going to do a, um, the three colors for more of a basic, quick, and easy look. Okay, so I like the way that looks. I'm going to take the tender color one more time and just swipe it over here, move it into my inner corner of my eye to lighten that up right here a little bit. You guys, my eyebrows need to be done so bad it's not even funny. Mom, can I sweep in your room today? We'll see. Hey, can I sweep my beautiful fence I made? Um, I don't know. Okay, so now that my eyes are completed to that capacity, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, gonna start with my foundation. I am going, going to. Right I'm gonna use. Um, I'm gonna use a liquid foundation today. And I'm going to use my kabuki brush. If you don't have a kabuki brush, I will make sure that it's in the comments below. You definitely want to get one, especially when putting on your foundation, um, a liquid foundation. It's going to be easier for you to um, disperse it on your face to where you don't have like big splotches. If you're just joining, my eyes look a little crazy right now. That's because I don't have any foundation like on, it? so bear with me you while like I get that on. Yeah, it's nice. So you'll notice that I will put my foundation on my hand, and then I will take my kabuki brush, and I will stipple it into there, and then I will stipple it onto so my face. Right this is a good way for me to get full coverage without... 
without having any crazy lines or spots where I have a larger amount applied to my face because you don't really want to have that with those kind of lines. So this is going to eliminate that because you're moving the product around your face as opposed to like spreading it like this. I'm also not going to really get those lines that you would if you're going to spread it on your face like that. So I'm not as much concerned about putting foundation underneath my eyes because I'm going to end up going in with concealer anyways. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more to my hand. There's a lot more than I wanted, you guys. Okay, so now that I'm getting down to like the bottom of my face, you do want to make sure that you're blending this in nicely into your neck so you don't have those crazy foundation lines. Oh, I just poked myself in the eye. So you don't have crazy foundation lines. Who is this? All right. Oh no, my fish is breaking, Mama. It's okay. Just pick it up. So if you guys caught my live earlier today, I was talking a little bit about the business and what it is that I do. As you can tell, I'm doing this 100% at home. I'm literally sitting in my bedroom yeah. doing my makeup and talking to you guys. Hey, and you can hear my son in the background. Hold on one second. I just need to talk to him back here. What? Can I just talk to him back here? Well, you got to wait a second, okay? Um... So as you can tell, I'm doing this at home. I'm, my son is in the background, and I try to talk to them. I I just need them back to show I can talk and, and I'll <laughs> show them what I made. He wants to share with you guys that he's in in the background. Um, in a second, I'll do that, Kingston. Um, so this is 100% doable. Even if your kids are running around in the back and they're screaming, you can still be a part of this business. That is the great thing about it is it's about women empowerment. And that includes moms and you guys sitting at home with all of your kids, especially now being in quarantine. And when you're doing a video live, just like my mom's doing, you can just say... Um, so be sure to go check out my, uh, coffee chats with Chelsea video from this morning. I will be doing those daily. Um, but that will give you a little bit more insight to the business and what it is that you're getting with it, which I would say the number one thing is just the sisterhood and having a group of women that are going to consistently, um, support you anytime you feel down, whether you join this business just for a little bit of extra cash or you join it because you want to make a complete career switch. Um, all of those things are doable here and you're going to have an army of women behind you that are going to support you and empower you to be the best version of yourself. All right. So let me get into the next step here really quick. I don't even know how long I've been on here, guys, so I'm real sorry if this is over 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to take my cover-up and, or not cover-up, concealer, and I'm going to put it right underneath my eye and pull it up towards um, my brow to get that nice defined line for where my shadow is. And then I'm going to go in like a triangle shape right here. I'm almost out of concealer, if you can't tell. I will be getting that on Wednesday. So I'll show you um, how to apply it with a brush. This is a little bit of a different application because it's a different type of concealer. But I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay. So the spots that you're putting your concealer in is going to be the spots that are going to be more of that highlight. You're going to contour around this. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to make it through, guys. I'm almost out of concealer. No, oh, there we go. Okay. So these are the spots of your face that you're going to want to highlight. You'll see when I put my um, when I put my bronzer on to contour, you'll see what I mean. So the next thing I did is I took my Beauty Blender. I sprayed a little bit of setting spray on it. 
to help me spread out this concealer underneath my eye. Hey mom, am I messy? What? Am I messy? No. Messy? And you can say hi. Hi. So that's my son. He's joining me on this live. So after after you're done live and and you're done talking and doing makeup, can I show them what I built it and how you do with it? Sure. Okay. Okay. So as you can tell, I'm just taking and spreading out that concealer under my eye. I used a little bit of setting spray on my blender. And that's just to pull the product and make it spread a little bit further. And it's also going to set that in place then because I'm going to put setting powder right over it. So usually when I'm using a setting powder, I'm either going to take this little grate out of the center and just dip my blender in it. Or I will dump it into the lid and do the same thing. Today? Baby, we can't. Everything is locked down. You can't go. Oh, I remember now. Yeah. Can okay. Because if the alarm. Okay, I'm almost done. Okay, uh, so I took my beauty blender and I just dipped it into the lid. I'm gonna take and put a very generous amount right where I put that concealer. I just see that open. I'm like running out of all my product, you guys. Yeah, cause she's it's been so out. long since I've had to order stuff. Hey, Mom, I'm <clears> going to buy you... That's a, the other really nice thing about this makeup. I'm going to buy you a new necklace and new makeup stuff. And oh, a yeah? new Christmas shirt and new Christmas sweater and new Christmas jacket. And, wow. And, and sparkly, sparkly hair. Put in your hair, all of your, and the thing you do that, stamp things, and goes on your eyes too, and then you just do that, then, then very nice. Okay, and you wait, hold that thought, hold and that you thought, wait five minutes. Okay, hold that thought, and I'm, I'm gonna go now. to my next step, and I gotta explain it. Okay, so now that I have my setting powder sitting here, I'm gonna let it bake, which means you put it on and you're gonna let it sit there for a few minutes while you move on to the next step. I'm gonna move on with my bronzer and I'm gonna do a contour with my bronzer. So I'm gonna start from temple to temple, go down to the middle of my forehead with my bronzer. I'm gonna do either side of my nose. I will do my cheekbone on either side. And then I will do right here under my lip and my jawline. Now you can do this with a darker foundation. I just prefer to do it with a um, with a bronzer. It's just better. easier to control. I am using this fluffy brush from Amazon. It's an extra fluffy fan brush. Yeah, but my hair, does my hair look better? It than looks. It was? Yep, it looks really nice. Thank you. I'm gonna put back. Okay, thank you. Um. So as you can tell, there's a little bit more definition in my face now that I've put the bronzer on. I'm just going to go into my jawline here and blend that into my neck a little bit. Okay, so now let's add a little bit more color and life to my face, um, which is probably my favorite part of it. Um, okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to go into is I'm going to take my kabuki brush. The setting powder that I have left here, I'm going to pull it down and just blend in these lines here because we want to make sure that you can see the definition from where the contour is and where your highlight is going to be. Okay. So the next thing after that is I'm going to take my brush blusher, which I'm using the color Sweet. Again, I will link all of these things in the description so that if you guys are interested in these products, you can have easy access to them. So uh, anytime I'm putting any sort of powder on my face, whether it's my eyeshadow, my blusher, my bronzer, I always will dip my brush in the powder, but then I will take and hit it on the side of it. So as you can see, there's a little bit of dust that's falling off of it. That's the excess makeup that I don't want on my face. So then I'm going to take this and do that Neapolitan look from where I did the bronzer. Then I layered on top of that the blusher. 
which I have more of a pink tone to my blusher usually um, because I have a cooler skin tone, so that works really nice with my complexion. Um, you can, you, there's plenty of different colors of the blusher. If you have questions on it, I can help you color match on anything um, for what yeah, I think will be best for your eyes. <laughs> Um, okay. Looks like the mist. Let's see. Let me clean up my stuff a little bit here because I got kind of a mess going on. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of shadow underneath my eyes just because I did a simpler look today. I'm going to take... I'm going to use the color Secretive, which was that shimmery color that I did in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to put that right underneath my... Um, Lash line. I'm almost resting the floor. I'm sitting all the way back so you're drinking like are you drinking? Oh I can see your seat. I'm turning the seat. So as you can tell it just adds a real little bit of color. You can tell the difference between this eye and this eye. This eye doesn't have any, this one does. And it's just giving a little bit more of a finished look. I, in most cases for my everyday looks, I'm not using an eyeliner. Um, I, I just prefer to cut that stuff out for everyday looks. I will use eyeliner if I am going out or I have a wedding or a party of some kind, holidays like Christmas and that, I'll use it. Um, but everyday looks, I just don't really need it anymore, especially since I've been using the Moodstruck 4D mascara. It gives such a dramatic look with just adding on the mascara that it's really not necessary for me to use uh, an eyeliner, and I like the way that this looks. Okay, so let's go into our highlight, and then I will get into the application of the mascara. So for this highlight, I'm going to be using a concealer brush to apply it. Usually I would use a fan brush, um, which is going to be one of these. This is a fuller fan brush. This one is more of a triangular fan brush. Um, they're both about the same in that light, but they're shaped a little bit differently. Um, I will be getting my new highlight in the mail. I'm just using a backup highlight right now because I literally run out of everything. Um, so I should be getting that on Wednesday. So stay tuned and you'll see how I apply those products a little bit differently. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my highlight and I'm going to put it right here underneath my brow line, which as you can already tell between these two, it's just added a little bit more of a lighter tone to here and it's highlighting to bring that arch up a little bit more and open up your eyes. So the next place I'm gonna put it is right down the center of my nose. If you remember, we took our contour with the bronzer and put it on the sides of our nose to narrow its structure. And this is just gonna highlight the center so that the focus makes your nose look a little bit smaller when you're looking face on. Next place I'm gonna put this is right here on my brow line. I'm doing that right over, or not my brow line, um, my cheekbone. I'm doing that right over where I put the contour bronzer and the blusher. So again, this is pull, almost pulling your face up a little bit because you're putting more of the focus on your bone structure instead of necessarily the shape of your face. So the next one is I'm going to put it right over my top, the curve of my top I lip. I never want to see that even cycle again. Sorry, Mom. So you can see, because I have some natural light today, so you can see where I put the highlight on my face. Okay. So we're done with that. So now I'm going to move on to the lashes. Sorry, I'm trying to clean up as I go. Otherwise, I have a huge mess all over the place. Well, it's okay. I can clean it up because I'm bad. Mm -hmm. And Mama's not good at making beds. And I'm good at making beds. Yeah. She's good at making beds too, but I'm way better at making beds. Last time I made this bed, um, she was so All right. So, now I'm going to move on to my eyelashes. So, I always uh, use a lash primer. Since I started working with this company, I have been obsessed with adding lash primer. Um, it just makes my eyelashes look so much fuller, and it gives the, especially the 4D mascara, it gives it something to cling on to, but this is also going to protect your natural lashes. 
So I know I've said this in every video. I probably sound like a broken record. But this mascara is literally the best thing that I have ever used. I've used hundreds of different types of mascaras. And this one by far is my favorite. It gives you that appearance of full um, lashes to where they almost appear like those fake lashes. But they're so much cheaper. It's $29 for this mascara, which is definitely competitive with popular mascaras that you might find at like Ulta or Sephora um, or MAC. So price-wise, it's comparable to anything else that you normally or typically would buy. But the quality of the product, um, I was so surprised with when I first tried it. I mean, I obviously saw the posts and I saw the videos and I'm like, sure, like I everybody says that what they have is the best. But when I actually tried it, it truly is. Like even if I was not in this business, I would still purchase this mascara time and time again. So as you can tell, the brush is 4D in the sense that it has um, the it is completely rounded. It's like that other one. Uh, only half of it was rounded. This one, the whole thing has the um, bristles on it. Which there we go. I think it's focused now. Okay, so this is really nice mascara because it, it is buildable. So the more layers you put on, my hair looks really gray right now, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, so the more layers that you put on, the the longer and the more volume you're gonna see in your lashes. So I'm probably gonna do a couple layers just because I didn't do eyeliner. So I'm gonna take it at the base of my lash and I'm gonna wiggle it up to make sure that I am separating my lashes and applying the product to my full lash to make sure that I'm getting the full effect. So you can already see how much um, fuller my lashes look and how much of a complete look I'm getting when I'm putting this on. Mommy? Yes, Kingston? Um, can I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese and, and the water park and the yep, hotel? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully soon. And... And kitchen motion and for parents' house and yeah. house and for the strong kitchen toys. That's, so as you can tell, that's and, what I want to do. Okay, um, as you can tell, in most of my lives, I definitely take a little bit more time and putting I on. <clears throat> okay, I'm Sorry, talking, so please wait. Thank you. Um. So as you can tell, when I put on the mascara, I am taking a little bit more time in the application because I want to make sure that I'm getting all of my lashes from the lash line all the way to the tip of them. Okay. I'm going to do the bottom of this one. And then I'm only doing one layer, especially the 4D, just because I have longer lashes on the bottom. Uh... <coughs> I'm only doing one layer. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so for the top, I'm going to do a second layer. Because I want those to be the focus, not my lower lash line. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, um, how much longer and fuller my lashes look now that I put that second coat on, which you'll see it even more when I take the pictures of this look. I'll take a close-up so that you can see what my eyes look with the mascara on. So I'm just adding the second coat on this eye here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so that's with the mascara on. I did two coats. You can do more coats and make them even fuller than that. Okay. <clears throat> so, the last thing to do is a lip. I am using the Opulence Lipstick, and I'm using it in the color Upscale. This is going to be more of a pinkish tone. I personally, when I'm doing more neutral looks like this, I'll either do a nude or a really light, um, like soft pink nude color on my lips. <clears throat> so I'm just going to lighten this up just a little bit. Okay, so that is my finished look. I will be sure to take pictures and I will post them on Instagram. So if you're not on Instagram, make sure that you go and follow what Chelsea likes um, so that you can see the finished look. I will be trying to hop on and do um, some sort of a hair tutorial today, depending on how much time that I have. But I will for sure take the pictures so that you can see the finished makeup look. I will, in, in the description, make sure that I link all of the products um, that I use so that if you want to do this look, you'll be able to click on that link and it will take you straight to the cart. And you can purchase all the products that I've used today. Um, if you didn't watch my Coffee Talks video this morning, make sure you go check it out, like, and share that. I did talk a little bit about the business and how you can join and what it's going to bring to your life. Um, so if you've been on the fence about it, go check out that video. It's going to give you a little bit more insight. I will be doing those every day before 9 a.m., so make sure that you like and follow What Chelsea Likes so you can get all of those. I'll be doing announcements, motivation, um, special giveaways, which I have one running for April, so be sure to check that out in my video. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much for joining. I'm sorry. I have something in my throat for some reason. Um, thank you so much for joining. Make sure that if you liked this video, like it, share it, talk about it with your friends and family, um, so that they can hop on the giveaway for the month of April. If you want to achieve this makeup look, Go ahead and comment and bundle and I will send over what deals I have for this month so that you can get this full face of makeup. The last thing I'm going to do before I hop off here is I'm going to take my setting spray and I'm going to spray it over my face. Two sprays is plenty. This is going to help set your makeup. It's going to make it stay like this all day long. Oh, I got a little bit much on that side. Um, I'll make it stay like this all day long and... Um, it's really nice. I don't end up with makeup all over my shirts on that by using this. So I highly suggest getting some setting spray if you don't have it already. All right, guys, I am going to hop off. Make sure that you like and share this video um, and turn on your notifications so that you can see every time I go live. Bye, guys. No, you